Hey, Doug here, Fiero Doug, talking once again about the plus cart. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own plus cart. So this is going to be a video supplement of the excellent write up on the plus cart website of how to build your own plus cart. Uh, and in this video, I will show you everything from sourcing the parts that you need to build it to the tools you need and how to assemble it, flash it, encase it and everything to have a work in plus cart that you built yourself. So let's get started. Okay, so here is everything you're going to need to build your plus cart. First, the three components that we need to build the PCB, which I'm going to show you in just a little bit where to source all these parts. You need the plus cart PCB, the STM32 development board, and the ESP8266 01S Wi Fi module. Uh, you need a soldering iron and solder a good set of side cutters, some 91% alcohol and a toothbrush or something to be able to clean the flux off the board when you're done, and then uh, a shell to put your cart in when you're done. So either a 3D printed case if you have access to a 3D printer or one of your many Pac-Man carts that you're probably sitting on, uh, you can repurpose this cartridge to put your completed plus cart into. All right, so let's uh, go on to uh, sourcing these parts. All right, first step is we need to order the uh, PlusCart breakout PCBs. So go to the PlusCart website, click on links, click on PlusCart Git repository. That will bring you to the Git page for the PlusCart. Uh, right here, download. Uh, I just do a zip. Uh, download that to a file and unzip it. And then if you open that up, uh, there'll be a folder for PCBs plus cart. And here is the Gerber file. It needs to be zipped, which it is here. Uh, this is what we need to get the PCB manufactured. So go to a whatever PCB uh, fabrication house you prefer. I happen to use JLC PCB. Uh, create an account if this is your first time ordering a PCB. And uh, this is super simple. Quick, click, quote now. Add Gerber file. So now we're going to add that zipped Gerber file that we just uh, downloaded. And it's going to process it. And in a couple seconds here, it's going to pop up a picture of the front and the back of the plus cart. And it'll be all ready to order. And there we go. There's the plus cart PCB. Uh, special offer $2. Normal price would be $4. Uh, anytime I order the first. PCB that I order is $2, so I, don't, I guess that's an every time special offer. Uh, you see shipping. This is $5.98. I believe this is going to end up being the cheapest shipping option, to me anyway. I'm in the USA on the East Coast. Uh, so what's that? Uh, $7.98. And you're going to get five of these PCBs because five is the minimum order. Uh, so that is super simple and pretty cheap. You can also change the color. Red, yellow, blue, white, black. Uh, it doesn't change the price at all. Uh, so you can do whatever you want there. But there it is. That's how easy it is to get this PCB ordered. So now let's move on to the other two pieces of the plus cart PCB that we all need. All right, so now we need the other two parts of the plus cart PCB. So I'm going to go back to the plus cart website. And if you go to hardware, it'll show you what we need, the three parts, plus cart breakout board, which we already ordered. And now we need the STM32F breakout board and the ESP8266. So I'm just going to uh, copy the board that we need here so I don't accidentally type it in wrong. And I get these parts from AliExpress, uh, which is the cheapest option that I've been able to find. So I'm just going to paste the STM32F407V GT6 in here and search. And a bunch of boards are going to come up. And uh, this is the board here that we want. Uh, so it's $7.35. Uh, it, when you click on these, you'll need to pay attention to what you get. Because obviously you don't want just the chip here. You want the actual board. So you can just search around. I, I believe the uh, this is where I get them from, uh, World Chips. 
735. Unfortunately, the shipping is 387. So it does bring this board up to about $10. Uh, and that's about the cheap, cheapest that I've been able to get it. Uh, but that is that board. So we'll order that. And now we need a, uh, the ESP. So uh, it's an ESP 8266 01 S. And here is the board. And again, you'll have to pay attention to, we don't want the ESP-01, we want the ESP-01S. And you see this is 95 cents with a $1.77 sh shipping. And uh, that's about what it'll end up being. Uh, you can search around for the cheapest price, but I believe $2 shipped is all that's gonna cost to get this ESP-8266. So we will order that. And now we have all the parts we need to build the plus cart. So let's go back to the workshop and build this thing up. All right, so the uh, development board comes with the pin headers that you're gonna need. So to start off, uh, you see the board says uh, insert with this side facing you and the other side says TV side. So you wanna insert the pin headers to the, on the TV side and you want to insert them with the long side down so the long side is going to be facing up where it says insert this side facing you you can see this on the board that I have completed that the uh, pin headers are really long here and these are a uh, clip to fit so you just determine what size you need and then you use your side cutters to clip them to the correct size that you need and you're going to be putting them on all of the pins on the side which is where the development board will sit when we're done so slide all those through and when you have them through you're going to want to put the development board on top of the pins there and then flip it over and solder the pin headers in so now you have all the pin headers in and then pull your development board back off and you want to solder in your ESP-01. So that is done from the uh, side that says insert with this side facing you. So we put that in here and we will solder that in from the back side. Once you have that soldered in, you need to shorten these pins because the development board sits on top of those pins uh, and it'll hit the bottom of the development board. So just take your side cutters and clip these pins down so that your development board clears. And that's all there is to it. Once you get to this point, uh, take some 91% alcohol and a toothbrush and clean uh, your solder joints on everything. And then you can put your development board on top and solder across all the pin headers here. Once again, once you do that, take 91% alcohol and clean all that flux off the board and get the board all nice and clean. And then you will end up with a board that looks like this. Now there's one thing left to do, um, and that is these pin headers right here. If you look on the development board on the back side, There'll be a little right in here that says boot zero and boot one. So you want to uh, put f clip four pin headers off, uh, you know, two sets of two pins, and solder them into the bottom of the development board so that they're facing up. And then on the uh, boot one, you'll want to solder a bridge across because that needs to be shorted all the time. Now on the other uh, boot zero, we're gonna use a shunt right here. Uh, after programming, we're gonna put a shunt on it like that, and the board will be ready to use. To program it, we need to have that shunt removed. Uh, now if you don't have a shunt, uh, you could always, after you flash it, you could always bridge this back together. You shouldn't need to program this again as all future firmware updates are done over the Wi-Fi in the menu of the plus cart. So now you have your plus cart built. It was pretty simple to do. Even if you only have basic soldering skills, uh, you should easily be able to solder this together. Just take your time. 
Um, there's quite a few solder joints, but it's not too bad. And now let's get this ready to flash the firmware onto. All right, so we're all ready, ready to flash the board. So we'll click on flash in here on the plus cart website. And uh, it'll say that we're going to be using the STM32 cube programmer. The link to download that is right here. So download that programmer. It's free of charge. And then uh, we'll need to open that up. Here is the cube programmer. And here's how we're going to connect the board. So let me show you uh, connecting the board right now. All right, to flash this, you just need a USB cable that plugs into the development board here. Uh, and you'll need a charge cord that's not just a charge cord. It needs to have all the data lines hooked up. So look through your junk drawer. Uh, you might have to go through a couple cables before you find the one that will actually work with the board. Uh, but plug this in. And then uh, hold this button down for five seconds, and that will initialize the USB to the computer, and you should be all set. All right, so we got our board plugged in and connected. Uh, so it should come up as USB 1 here. If it doesn't, and it still says nothing here, uh, just hit refresh, and it should come up. And then click connect. Now your board is connected to the programmer. Click right here for download. And now you want to put the ELF file here. So if you will go to the uh, Atari 2600 Plus Cart Master that we downloaded it at the beginning, uh, go to firmware and you want pluscart.elf. Open that, that will put that here. And now you're all ready to program. All you have to do is hit start programming. Once you do that, this progress bar will go to 100% until it's done. Uh, and a little window will come up here, click OK. Uh, it says the firmware download was successful. And then you'll want to disconnect your board and unplug it from the USB. And now you should have a working plus cart. So we will put this in a cartridge shell and test it out. All right, so if you're going to uh, use either, you know, uh, an Atari, a reused Atari case like an old Pac-Man or ET cart, uh, go to the Plus Cart website and click on Encasin, and there is a very lovely write-up on what you need to, to do to modify that case to get the Plus Cart PCB in there. It's pretty simple. It's just clipping a bunch of stuff out of the way so that the uh, Plus Cart PCB will fit in there, um, and there you go. Pretty simple. All right, uh, if you have a 3D printer or you have a friend that has a 3D printer and can print you the shell, uh, again, we're on the Plus Cart website under Encasin, and here is Andrew Davies 3D print shell. Uh, click on the link to go to the Thingverse file for it. Here's the Thingverse page for the Plus Cart 3D printed shell that Andrew Davies made. Uh, and all the files are right here to download. You print all these pieces up, and you will have a nice Plus Cart 3D printed shell. Okay, now that we got the board flashed, the first thing you want to do is do not forget to short the boot zero jumper, either with a shunt or, like I said, if you don't have a shunt, you could solder across here um, so that we're ready to go. So make sure you get that on. And now either using your modified Pac-Man or ET cart, as I showed you how to do uh, as described on the website, or if you have a 3D printed case, which is what I'm going to use, You'll want to put your label in, get your cart in with the ESP01 facing the uh, little hole, the little window in the PCB. And then get your top case on. And snap it together. And there you go. Cartridge is all ready to go. Once we get that all snapped down. Now let's plug this into an Atari 2600 and we should have a working Atari 2600 Plus Cart. All right, now we are ready to test. So we'll plug our Plus Cart into our 2600 here and power it on. And there we go, a working Plus Cart. Um, as described in my previous videos and well described on the Plus Cart website, uh, you just need to connect this to your Wi-Fi now, which is in 
set up and Wi-Fi connection and then you can either use WPS or scan for Wi-Fi and put your SSID in there and then uh, you will be all set up and then make sure you connect it to your plus store account which is also right here uh, this is where you would connect to the plus cart uh, to the plus store and then your cart is all ready to use So there you have it. Build your own Atari 2600 Plus cart for, what was it, just over $20 in parts to build one. Uh, if you bought parts in higher quantities, you could get that price down more. Maybe if you shop around, you can even find these parts cheaper than that. But I think for that price, it is an amazing piece of tech for the Atari 2600. Uh, it's a lot of fun to build. Uh, it's very rewarding that you built your Plus cart yourself. So if you have interest in building your own plus card, I hope you get out there, order the parts, solder it together, and build yourself a plus card. Well, that's all I got for this episode. I'm Fiero Doug, and I will talk to you guys later. Later.